Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. Previously we were discussing about how we can take user input for list and I made two videos on this concept. One is using for loop. We wrote the program using for loop and another one is we wrote the program using while loop. But here you need to insert same type of element to the list. That is you can enter all the integer element to the list or you can enter all the float element to the list or string element to the list. You can't have different types of element in list. This is the program which we discussed in the previous tutorial. Here we wrote the program using while loop. We are taking user input for list using while loop. So I won't explain you about this program. If you want, I'll give you the link of this video in the description box. You can go and watch that. And here you can see in the input, you are using input function. Here I'm using python3 to write the program. So in python3 by default this input function will take input as the string value. So here you can enter only string value to the list. So now if I execute this, even though if you enter the element as 10, integer 10, but it will treat that as the string value and it will store that string value in the list. Here you can see. 10 and 2.4 is treated as a string value and the string value is stored in the list one. Now if I convert the input to integer then all the elements of the list one will be the integer value. If you enter any other value we will get error. For example here you can see enter the element if I enter 10 okay if I enter 2.4 will get error. If I try float here if I take 10 that will be taken if I take 3.4 okay if I take e we'll get error but list can contain different type of element now if I want to enter one integer input one float input and one string input to the list how to do that so we need to change this program for that it need to take the element as the user input and also it need to allow us to take different types of element and for this purpose we can use eval function. Eval function will evaluate the expression. It will treat the string as expression and it will evaluate that. Instead of float if I use eval here like this and if I execute this now enter the element I'll enter 10 and here I'll enter 2.4 and here I'll enter a string like this and now if I want to quit here you can see list. 10, 2.4 and a. 10 is an integer value, 2.4 is a float value and also a is a string value, right? So using eval function we can get our desired output. But using eval function in your program is dangerous if you accept strings to evaluate from the untrusted input. It has some security issue so most of the people try to avoid this eval function in the program. So now if eval function is dangerous then what to use instead of eval function. You can use another function that is called as a literal eval function which belongs to AST module. The AST full form is abstract syntax tree. It is a module and in that there is a function called literal eval which will safely evaluate an expression or a string. So let's see how to use that function. For that first you need to import AST module name then here you need to use ast dot literal underscore eval the function name is literal underscore eval and this is the module name right so let's execute this enter the element i'll enter 10 here you can see it will allow us to enter the element of any type to the list so this is about the user input for list. This is the last video on that concept. So that's it for now guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I will meet you in next class. Till then take care.